Speaking of your sister, I understand that um, your dad mentioned something during his campaign about. Um, do you want to talk oh, about the relationship with uh -oh. okay. your sister? My question was, um, like, how did you feel when your dad like said that you and your sister were single and available? Like, like, what was that like? Yeah, were you like, knows. Were like, wow, dad, like my own dating service? <laughs> A lot of people um, wanted to get my reaction after that moment happened, and the funniest part about that entire night was that my sister's boyfriend was standing on stage with us during oh the acceptance speech. And if you could see his face during the whole thing, it was probably the funniest moment when my dad had to call and apologize to him because he just spoke so out of context and it was like, he didn't realize what he was saying at the time and <laughs> we all just had a big laugh about it afterwards because he was like, I don't know what I was saying, but I was, I was just so feeling the moment right there and I was so proud of you girls and then all of a sudden I just said you were available and um, <laughs> I was at the time, yes. So there was some truth to, that, truth to that, but my sister was not. So it was more funny in that situation. <laughs> Did you get a lot of phone calls since then? <laughs> uh, I got a lot of emails. My, my parents actually received a ton of emails from random strangers that couldn't get through me. So they would email my mom at work or my dad's office and say, I'm available, I'm 6'5", and I'm a law student, and I do this and this. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is not how yeah. I want to meet a man, so. Oh. <laughs> Any blind dates? No. No blind dates. No, no, that would mm. not happen. <laughs> it definitely put you in the spotlight in a different way than you're used to. <laughs> right. Yeah, it definitely did. I think the morning after that acceptance speech, I was the number two trended topic on Yahoo.com. Wow, that's something so, to brag about. And the thing that was right before me was uh, the, ha the Haiti earthquake. So um, I guess I'm honored, but I'm really glad that I wasn't number one and there was actually some light brought onto that situation. Mm -hmm. And that was the, the number one most trended topic. So. Well, Ela, my next question for you, being a former American Idol contestant, I'm sure that you follow the show uh, this season. So mm -hmm. any contestants that really spark your interest or catch your eye? How about the new judges, too? Yeah, the new, new judges, judges yeah. are great. Well, what about you? Do you have a favorite? Uh, or do you even watch the show? I, I do watch the me. show, but right now my, my favorite got eliminated. So Who? Uh, it was Pia. Same. I was gonna say that. Same. I was yeah. gonna say Pia, Pia yeah. did a great job. I don't her vocals she were fantastic. I'm not sure really what they were thinking, um, but I guess in the ones that I have left, I'd have to say Scotty. He has that true Josh <sighs> Turner country voice, and um, although he's young, I think he has a lot of talent. So that's out of who's left would probably be my favorite, and he was actually one of my favorites from the beginning.